It's hold all- on, hold on. See, see, let, let, let's calm it down now to JBP. We all on the JBP. I didn't put it on Meek. Everybody knows. We all know that would allude to Meek Mill. What we're not going to do is rewrite history and act like academics made up a rumor. Academics is a person who breaks down lawsuits. I've read every one of Diddy's lawsuits from front to back. I get the actual affidavit. I read it. We try to look people up. Matter of fact, we actually did something, which we're going to talk about next, that actually helped vindicated um, Diddy in, 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 in some of the things that he's accused of. We read every lawsuit, every indictment. We are the thing. We don't stream it. And with all due respect, I'm not disrespecting no one. We we stream for hours at a time. Y'all know I get on this bitch for six hours. Six hours, we're not going to do summaries. We're going to get into nitty gritty. We're going to read documents. We're going to do research. There is time for that in a six hour stream. In the six-hour stream, I had a 73 pages. I damn near read all of them until it got repetitive. I stopped. This is an allegation. I didn't make it up. And this is what it, it needs to be said and understood before we get further because I don't want people to think, oh, nobody was ever, like, nobody thought this was Meek until Ak said it. This is very clear, very clear that this was going towards Meek Mill, right? On the same page. It ain't like you had to go think about it. It had that redacted part, and then right there at the bottom, on the same page, it had okay, the, ISIS quote unquote, the, the footnotes too. We can't, we can't take away but our the powerful. paper. Don't say Meek, no, because it cannot say Meek. Correct. Yes. So you could do all in. No, no, it could say Meek. That that's actually why people, and we're gonna get into it. I spoke to um maybe I got my man, man you know lawyer for workers Mo Gagnet. He actually like we've we've doubled back and looked at a lot of things with that lawsuit and we're seeing major problems. We're actually seeing some behavior that, to be honest, is unbecoming of certain situations and certain things having to do with this, the same lawsuit. So we're going to be actually discussing all of those things um, in a little bit more detail. But. It, it, this could have said Meek Mill. Right. It could have said Meek Mill. Right. Again, they're filing a civil suit. I don't know why they decided to redact his name and redact Usher's name. And re- uh, did they redact? Um, I think they redacted Chris Brown's name, but then they gave a hint that it was clearly those people. Again, we're going to address that with how the lawsuit looks in hindsight it looks trash it's a trash lawsuit 100 percent which some people keep thinking is the same lawyer who did the cassie case this ain't the same lawyer this is a lawyer that is going around and as he sees things in the media reaching out to any and everybody to file these cases hoping that they will all settle And this was nothing else, which means keep in mind, because I'm going to like I'm staying on the same train of thought. Some of the things they're putting out might be lies and it is upon us. And this is why I stream for as long as I do. And this is why even while I read these things, we're going to Google it again. You know, this is like that macho man shit by like these 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 gangster rappers who are just fragile in ego and their sexuality, bro. Someone says you're gay. You're not gay. Just say you're not gay. Now you're doing the most to the point that people are like, wait, is he gay? Why is he doing this much? Right? And people are agreeing with it. They're like, no, this is, this is what? No. Referring that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Which everyone did. Which is fine for everyone. But Meek is saying, this nigga is a voice in our culture. There you go. So for him to now just be irresponsible and report, I'm on some gay shit Mm -hmm. is foul. And I did understand that. I get that the part. Rest of the, the rest of the people could say, hey, they talking about Meek. They could do that. But the, the people that are, are strong right. and prominent voices, and we, 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 some of us are held to a different standard. And they hold act to that standard. His voice is powerful. It is. So when you Very say powerful. something like that, you know. And then don't skip the Usher line right underneath, nigga, if you're going to do it. That was do my- it. Now, in case any of you guys were. Now, I, I didn't skip the Usher line. 
I didn't skip the Usher line at all. I literally spoke. If you go back to the streams, I spoke about it. I literally spoke on Usher. But, of course, Usher, who just did a very successful Super Bowl performance, is not going to respond to this. The only reason why this is popular is because of Meek's, uh, um, you know, he has a, he's been catching these online L's, and people know this will bother him, and he proposed, purports to be this tough guy. People said it about Usher, but just like, did Usher get online and, 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 and fucking, you know how the thing about Usher having herpes came up about? It came up in a lawsuit. You do realize this, right? Where he filed that he did have herpes and that any partner he did have sex with knew about it. That's exactly what he said. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's how we found out. Did he then come back on social media and rant about it for three days about him allegedly having herpes? Whether he just said that in a document, just no, he didn't. He's never addressed it. So that's the difference. Meek, that shit goes viral, and Meek then addresses it and rants about it for three days. If Meek had just said, Cap, I'm pretty sure people would have moved on. Yo, Cap, yo, niggas got to stop lying. People moved on. You know what he said? Fuck you, Ack, I'm going to beat you up. It felt like he was almost trying to, like, peacock and be like, yo, you, you exposed me, so I'm going to get mad. No, but what about the rumor? You're going to address the rumor? You address that 12 hours later. So we did talk about Usher. We did talk about Chris Brown. We tried to find every and anybody in that situation that, yo, by the way, I spoke to a girl from Booby Trap. I literally spoke to her. Matter of fact, I I'm going to ask that girl if she's down to come on here. By the way, that girl, you know what she told me? She said, act, bro, in reality, yo, I'm going to tell you why this is lie lies. That girl is our friend. And da, 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 like she has a whole story behind that. I'm going to ask her if she's down to speak about that. And so so th she's she works at Booby Trap. And so she's like the whole thing about the nigga being coming to Booby Trap to recruit and all prostitutes and all that. Bro, let me set it straight on that because one of the girls that went there and hung out with them is my friend. Do you get what I mean? Cool. So so, you know, um, just giving some some information to the people who have listened to Joe. I did talk about Usher. Usher just not is no line. He's not stupid. Why would Usher delete his whole credibility, his whole buzz, his whole focus on his music that came from his Super Bowl performance and talk about if he's straight or gay? He never talked about if he had herpes or not. It just came out in the court documents and people adopted it like he did. And because he did do a settlement. And after that, he never spoke about it. He never admitted it and he never denied it. That's the difference. Okay. Cool. Um, I see Meek Mill, who, you know, he's been probably fighting to not tweet. He apparently is not responding to something, and apparently he's watching the stream. Hello, Rameek. Hello. Okay? You see what you've gotten yourself into? I, I know you think I'm powered by the white man. I wasn't. I was actually just doing my job. You took offense to it because it went viral, even though you say no one watched me. And now... You then thread my life, which, okay, I'm glad. The truce is over. Cool. Now, I can't wait for you to fail, and you can do whatever you want to do, okay? So, again, I, I also made it very clear that I'm going to be uh, interviewing Dean. He's a former dream chaser that used to be Meek Mill's second in command. He's not that happy with Meek Mill anymore, okay? He's down to speak the truth. And also, the rest of the, the Philly artists who have not gotten a chance and opportunities, they also want to speak as well, Okay? I'm sorry for neglecting y'all from a platform because this nigga's a fucking hater. He's always hated on y'all, and it's time that we hear y'all side of the story. Meek Mill, who claims he's now been talked to by the governor, he's now responding even though he said he's going to let this go and whatever. I was sending that guy to the store, letting him have it in the side rooms for years, feeding his kids. He spent it on clothes. Y'all better not be dumb enough to follow his motion. He's going to crash y'all out. Don't follow the heathens. My albums match this watch when y'all hear it. Okay. It's okay. Um, Q tweet, we're still going to interview him, all right? You should have nothing to worry about if the truth lands on your side. If what he's saying is flat-out lies and if no one believes it, I'll call it out because I, I really don't even care that much. If he's just fucking blind to my face, I'd be like, bro, that don't sound like it's believable. If he's telling the truth, other people will either verify or they'll say it's, it's a lie. But remember, you put yourself in this position because you can take the, 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 the possibility that somebody, some random dude, Little Rod, said you were gay and you could have just said, no, I'm not. And you figured you wanted to kill me. 
So since I'm already dead, I'm a dead man talking, talking about you. Thank you. All right, let's keep it moving, man. Freak Millie, get out of here. All right? You, you weren't invited at the beginning of the stream. You ain't invited now. Okay. Uh, where was I at? Where was I at? Okay, cool. So um, this is about, yeah, Joe is talking about the issues. Joe, I will say this to you and all of your coworkers. I hate the fact that you guys are always in, in, in meat mill defense mode and you're acting like most of these things aren't brought upon him by, by himself. You know, I've, I've, I, I, I worked at Everyday Struggle with Joe and I've heard it made so many points and so many valiant and salient points where it's like, yo, here's the thing. When you're talking about young kids that come from a certain neighborhood and they, they've never been in certain places and opportunities and maybe they're crashing out because they want the the idea of gaining attention. Like for, for once, like Joe made a point one time. It's like, hey, listen, well, you have a platform. If you're giving platforms to these guys who they the only way they know how to get a platform is by doing all this stuff, it's going to encourage them a little bit. And yes, they should know better, but they're kids. And I completely understand that I've definitely, you know, even understood that in 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 the war in Chirac. Here's what we're not going to do. We're not going to treat Meek Mill like he's a sped. Meek Mill is a grown ass man. He's 45 at this point. He like when I hear from people that's cool with his team that says he doesn't understand the Internet. Are we supposed to treat this man like he's retarded? Like, w w what are we doing? Let's get back to the actual facts because nobody wants to talk about that. Everyone's evading it. This all started by a lawsuit that's filed against one of his associates. Joe, let me put this in perspective to you. If you, who have been signed to Revolt, have been cool with Diddy, we've seen you at his place of residence, I know you're an up-and-up guy. You're my guy, right? I felt I could vouch for you. But let's say some random lawsuit came out from Joe Schmo, whoever, and they said that you, you, your name was mentioned by Diddy or you were around in something of the sort. That might be bullshit. I'm not sitting here saying it's true. I'm not going to stamp it that it's true. But in an allegation, we might just read through it. That's what we were doing with the Meat Mill thing. We're reading through it. By the way, here's also the craziest part about it. Meat Mill mentioned in a lawsuit that alleged about 50 different crimes. 50 different crimes, including crimes that carry life sentences if they were proven in court. The only thing said about Meat Mill was that the guy heard from Diddy that Meek Mill might have had sex with the guy. With all due respect, this is why I know that homophobia is just really still very prevalent in this whole shit. Because you're telling me the nigga's not even accused of a crime. He's not even accused of anything that could jeopardize his freedom, nothing of the sort. They're just saying that one guy on hearsay heard that another guy might have had sex with another guy. And this is crash out timing? Let's be very clear. At this point, Meek Mill's career does not hang in the balance of is he straight or is he not. He's not making good music. And this is why the facetious part of us saying, oh, no, we're going to acknowledge, we're going to acknowledge, right? We're going to acknowledge his fragile male ego and him threatening me doing whatever or saying whatever is fine. Now, let me put this back in the perspective of everybody who's even saying that or agree with it, whether it's Joe Budden, whether it's his co-host, whether it's anyone in the culture. Help me. I'm a Jamaican man, very proud. Y'all know I ain't with none of that gay shit. This guy wants to mention me in a way that's just unethical and immoral to me, period. Why did none of y'all even stand up for me? Everybody thought it was jokes. So if y'all thought all that shit was Saucy Santana with me was jokes, and I got it. Some of y'all would think it joke. It wasn't funny to me at all. I never thought it was funny. I never thought that shit was funny. But... Y'all don't have the same respect for me like you have for Meek. Meek is a fucking regular human that eat, bleed, sleep, shit, and whatever you might think. So they had a joke or whatever about him being gay. It's a fucking joke. Let's not, oh, we got to protect him. We're protecting him and calling him like he's a baby. He could either laugh at the joke or he could just say, fuck y'all niggas and just say it ain't true. Now everybody's like, they're enabling him by saying, no, you're down. We, we are with you because... You should have this reaction to something that a nigga didn't make up. I never made it up. I didn't make that up. Why is everybody treating Meek Mill? Meek Mill is the big retarded kid. He's goddamn 45. Be a man. Everybody has rumors about them. They said I was gay with 6'9". I cooked the person who said I was gay. 
Man, I said, Jay, bring your stupid whore ass here. Let me cook your ass. After that, did you see me like, let me keep showing y'all I'm not gay? If y'all believe it afterwards, fuck you. Why does Meat Mill, a 45-year-old man, gets to act like a fucking petulant child, gets to then threaten to kill other people, and gets to act gangster while, is it because he's from Philadelphia? Is that the case? Is it because he's been talking to trenches, trenches, trenches? Or because y'all just fucking scared of the nigga? Because what everybody should be saying to him is, Meek, Get a hold of internet fucking culture. Joe, you came out and said you were bisexual. I know you not to be that. But you said that because you wanted to, like, that was a smart move to, okay, y'all can't accuse me of being homophobic. Did, did any of the blowback or whatever that came from that, did, did that warrant you to do what Meek Mill is doing now? You realize that he's, you realize that he's trending not because of the rumor, it's because of his response. Is nobody speaking about that? Is nobody speaking about a guy who primarily these days, you're not selling physical copies of your music. You're in the music industry, ran in a digital world, and you still don't understand the internet? Why are we saving this stupid nigga? He's not that smart. If we're in an industry where the cream rises to the top and the dummies should get, if you believe in Darwin's law, a nigga like Meek Mill, he should be irrelevant. You're too stupid to exist. Why are we calling him? Oh, no, I could see why Meek Mill. What do you think? Somebody born in Philly is just made different? You seem like a beta male if you think that. Oh, 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 no, Meek was born in the trenches, so you can't say that about him. That's like me saying, I'm Jamaican. You better never call me gay. Y'all call me gay anytime y'all want. So why, what's the fuck is different than Meek? It was a joke, or people joked about it after someone made the allegation. Who made the allegation? Was it act? No, it was not. Why is a grown man constantly being coddled by y'all? He's grown. At this point, you should tell him you're stupid. Meek, they're going to say you have AIDS. They're going to say you killed somebody. They're going to say the worst things about you. I know this. And I've never, I've never hit the heights of popularity as this nigga. Why are we over here trying to make him feel okay? Why is he having to tweet out wellness checks? I'm okay, guy. I'm straight. Even though... To, don't use the word straight. <laughs> so DJ Academics decided to go in on Joe Budden after on the Joe Budden podcast. Joe Budden made his triumphant return after interviewing Candace Owens. Can't wait to pay $30 to see how that went. Sorry, I won't be paying him any of my money anymore, especially saying after what he had to say about me. I am who I am and I'm gonna watermark whatever shit I wanna fucking watermark. Well, at least from the people I respect. And do I respect Joe Busy Button at the moment? Moment, no <laughs> but that's neither here nor there that has to do with my subjectiveness when it comes down to it but being objective at the end of the day you know joe's gonna cop please when it comes to anything diddy i thought we knew this act you know this <laughs> like come on yeah it might be dealing with me but he's gonna cop please when it has anything to deal with diddy he's gonna gaslight he's gonna say one thing wasn't what it was when it actually was that he's gonna say that meek didn't know what was going on when at the end of the day meek is being mentioned in a lawsuit I think he should know what's going on first thing he sees is academics talking about it and instead of actually going to do some research to be like okay where is he getting this from just gets the tweeting trigger fingers turn to twitter fingers drake said it best himself that's what meek does he tweets <laughs> he doesn't you know he sends his goons out to fight for him like you know I, I remember when meek had safari jumped at the bet awards weekend that was a funny moment because he just got out the car like nothing he didn't know what was going on. hey what's happening over there <laughs> Safari was getting ran down. And Meek was like, oh, I hate that nigga. <laughs> he looked like he about to get his ass beat. Interesting. That's how Meek was looking during that whole fucking encounter. So yeah, I definitely think Meek is that type. But then when he runs into Takashi 6 9 where are those goons to run down on Takashi? Or would it have been a goon versus goon fight? And at that point, what's the point? Uh, the goons were like, yeah, we're just not going to do this. Police are with Meek Mill. Police are with <laughs> Takashi 6 9 as well. Police aren't trying to fight each other. So they're like, yeah, we're just gonna keep them away from each other. But yeah, you can't play tough, hard, nigga, and then act like 
a civilian. You just can't, you can't do that. You can't do both. Somebody needs to tell Meek Mill that you cannot do both. And Joe Coppin, please, for somebody that's closely tied to Diddy, makes sense. Cause he could be in that same boat right now. Joe could have been redacted in that lawsuit. The internet definitely would have went ablaze at that point. I mean, it went ablaze for Meek. Bro, Usher's smart. Usher just doesn't say anything. He's like, y'all think I'm gay? Cool, watch me sing to your bitch. You think I'm gay? I bet I get the panties off for her. Usher's a smart man. <laughs> Why didn't Meek just call Usher? I would've called Usher. Like, how are you gonna handle this? You man. I'm just not gonna say that. But nigga, I just performed at the Super Bowl. You think I'm thinking about being a redacted mentioned in somebody's lawsuit? I don't care. I'm in Vegas, nigga. Click. And Meek would be like, fuck, lucky bastard. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. How you feel about DJ Academics calling out Joe Budden for riding Meek's coattails. Let me know in the comments below. I am Savvy Mike and this is I am Savvy Mike TV. Peace.